What's up guys? Uh, just cut this uh, circle table or round table, I guess you could say, for a pedestal table that I'm about to do. Solid red oak. It's about an inch and an eighth thick. And uh, I use this Miles Craft uh, circle cutting jig with a cheap Ryobi router. Watch how to do this, guys. This setup right here is, this was like 45 bucks, and this router is like $99. So 150 bucks, cut your own uh, circle. And then you can also uh, have a router too. Awesome. Watch the video, like, comment, subscribe, and... All right, so here we go. So what I like to do whenever I, because I have cut these before, what I like to do though is I actually take my pencil and I kind of follow it because these things, they don't, once you get over, I think it's like 42 inches, they don't actually um, register what your actual measurement is. So what I do is I actually take my pencil and I follow it and then I measure just to make sure that it is the, the desired um, width or length that I want it to be of the diameter of the circle. So that's kind of how I do it. So let's get to cutting. I went around, I just went maybe an eighth of an inch down. I just wanted to also do a double check just to make sure if I did have to adjust it, but it looks good to me. It's right on my layout lines where I was supposed to be for 46 inches of a diameter. Um, and also, did you guys notice that this is not a plunge router? All I did is I opened this up. This is a cheap Ryobi router, but it works with any standard router. You can do the same thing. Just slowly go down on your depth setting and you, it'll be fine. I mean, it's a spiral upcut bit. It's gonna take the chips out of it anyways. It's not gonna hurt you doing this. I've did it with a couple of other different routers too. I, this is the first time I've actually ever used a Ryobi router to do this, but hey, it works and uh, gets the job done. So let's keep uh, rounding and rounding and around. So we should be on the last cut, I do believe. I I uh, drilled a hole and I just kind of gave it a idea of how much is left with a drill bit. And I feel like I got about a 16th of an inch, maybe even an eighth of an inch at most. Um, I have done so far six passes. Uh, I know you're supposed to do usually about a quarter. I'm in about an inch and an eighth on my stock. So I'm going a little less than a quarter uh, just so I don't burn up that cheap router. And then also it's better on the bit too. So. You want to take a ride? Let's take a ride. See how good we did. It looks really straight, so open it. it. Turned out good. Set that over to the side. There we 
Here we are.